Wasn't expecting. So, the moles are a part of wildfire. Oh, that's right. It's me, Pitch Dark Cook the Great. What do you want? <laughs> Kiddo, I think there's been a misunderstanding. I will be your guide, friends, by order of Chief Oleg. I gotta say I'm a little upset at the thought of you choosing a toddler over your old buddy Sampo. All right, all right, don't get started. But I want to ask you something. Everyone in Wildfire knows the location of Svarog's lair. Why do we need you as a guide? Uh, my specialty's in the field, perhaps. Wildfire may know where the base is, but have they ever been inside? You've been inside? No, but I felt my way around the outside and picked up more than a few clues. I can help you. You have my word. Anything? Oh, I can hear myself now. Is this right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're fine. And that's what I get for accidentally touching the controls. Hey, what are you trying to say? Name me someone above or below ground that walks the talk like Sampo Koski. My legacy will prove that Sampo Koski was nothing but a willing and devoted servant of... Oh, enough! Jeez, we believe you, okay? Show us the way already! Great! Stay close. Are we there yet? Do you have to ask every other minute, Missy? Come Two on. more steps, just... This is Svarog's lair? I thought it'd be cold and lifeless. Turns out it's pretty busy. Many vagrants are staying here temporarily. Their homes were overrun by monsters. Isn't it dangerous for them to make camp right under Svarog's metal nose? Svarog may be ruthless, but he never attacks without reason. For those with no home, this is actually a safe place to be. <laughs> if I hadn't moved away when I did, I'd probably be where they are right now. Is 
that a secret code or something? It's an imaginary password that children like to use. And I don't think it's going to be of much use. Whoa, whoa. Pry it open? In front of all these vagrants and robots? They have eyes, you know. Luckily for us, I've already figured out the mechanism for this gate. They don't just let any Joe Schmo in and out of Boss Farag's territory. I mean, if you want to see the big cheese himself, you need certification. Uh, certification? Correct. Only prospectors with the right certification can get in or out. These prospectors collect mechanical remnants from all over the underground and then bring them to Svarog for him to repair. Honestly, it's a very profitable little venture. If only I had beaten them to it. <laughs> They'd be calling me Sampo Bosky by now. A time out. Where do we get this certification? Oh, that's simple. You see the robots over by the vagrants? They're all Svorog scouts. Every one of them is commanded to maintain order here. Apart from them keeping a watchful eye on these hooligans, another one of their duties is processing. Anyone who wants to become a prospector has to pass a test from these walking stoplights first. Not a clue! <laughs> I never had the urge to go on a Svarug suicide mission before. You guys are the ones that want in. Why not go and ask the robots? It feels like the people here are all under the supervision of robots. This would be unthinkable on the surface. Robots are merely tools in the over world. Don't think Svarag as an ordinary robot. He's uh, special. Hold still. You're nearly fixed. My design has been superseded by newer models. My components are no longer valuable. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm not interested in selling your components. Alas, this place is a bit of a mixed bag. Plenty of characters. Keep your wits about you, friends. Don't let anyone deceive you. It's all good. We've had you for practice. You know, Missy, you sure know how to bear a grudge. Has to be one of them, right? It looks so lame. Is it even awake in there? Maybe it's broken down. <laughs> that scared me. Protocol initiating, scanning, verifying. Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Launching processing. Are we starting now? Launching stage one processing. Please listen to the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Infernal construction what now? How would we know anything about that? Sampo, do you know the answer? Sampo Gasky always knows the... Wait, uh, what did it say again? Aren't you supposed to be dependable? Well, I don't know everything. Sometimes you gotta ask around if you want to know the answer. Don't panic. Let's listen in to what the vagrants are talking about. We might just hit the jackpot. Please answer the following question. Who is the reigning champion of the Internal Combustion Engine Wrap Tournament? Still. My design has been super. Hey, what are you talking about? I'm not. A
Yo, yo, listen up. This one's for all you pretend rappers. Internal combustion engine champion, 88 degrees bedrock. Repping the dawn of the underworld rap. Here's something to wake up your soul. Check it. Light at the moon of a city of snow. Get down below gazing up all alone. Silence, dismay. How to make sense of this vision the great. You to protect, her to defend. Queen of oblivion lies with no end. Child born and bred of the underworld dark. Orders that keep him and home far apart. Life, death, and honor, the struggle persists. Finding his parents a solitary wish. Crackling flame, flickering light. And now he escapes in the dead of the night. Sickness and hunger forever pursuing him. Gritting his teeth leaves a city behind. Scraping of claws, gnashing of teeth. Evil intent hears the sound of his feet. Don't make a sound of your breath till it's over. Heart pounding, don't let the panic take over. Howl of the wind, silvery light. Hold on to sanity, keep up the fight now that blizzard descends. I start to close the voices of family lost of the snow another bella buck night the hate the lies just can't hide yeah her gaze cold as ice while the world passes by yeah another bella buck night a find the lies can't abide yeah on his face one last smile a sign the sun always rises yeah yeah Stage one, who is the rainy? Correct, and certification results. Six, at least extend your run. My right hand? Here you go. Why is this part of the, oh, hey, hey, ow, ow, ow. So this is the certification mark? Great, only two more steps to go. Let's move. One's got a temper. Oh, let's get this over with. Did you get your first certification? If not, then you're wasting your time. You mean this? Here, look. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Here comes your question. Listen up. Riddle me this. A microcrystalline unit should be connected to which component? You don't know the answer? No, no, no! You can't insert the microcrystalline unit into the heat sink substrate like that. How do you know? Balloway from Miner's Lamp said that you need to pay attention to the interfaces when assembling relics. To make this thing move again, we need to connect the microcrystalline unit to the operating brake module. Otherwise, it's just a pile of scrap metal. If you believe a word that senile idiot Balloway says, you're done for. The last time he acted on his own advice, he electrocuted himself. You should be asking people with real smarts. No one is better at fixing machines than Marev. I saw him connecting a microcrystalline conductor unit to a logic control hub to get a vibrating drill to work. Ha! <laughs> Marev? Him and his brother wouldn't know a real relic if it hit him in the face. Last I heard, he got scammed by someone selling counterfeit junk. Ah, you're just salty, my friend. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Riddle me this. Wrong. Simple question. Terrible answer. It's... Uh, can I smash this can open? Ha! Huh? You wanna go? You caught me in a bad mood. Let's do this. If we turn you into scrap metal, we still get our certification, right? Suits me. What are you looking at? This big diamond! It's all yours! Let's make it quick. Maybe you can keep it down? 
Naughty children, to favor the vigor of Wait, have mercy. I'm sorry. One certification coming right up. <laughs> now we're talking. Okay, please extend your right hand. Not you, the girl over there. Huh? Me again? It hurts, you know. Uh, ow. There you are. Only one more to go. Now, please leave me in peace. If there's medicine, it'll come in handy. Whatever the case, we'll need it to identify our certifications. Something wrong with this one. Protocol. Init init initialization failure. Ad Not encouraged. System restoration failure. Core module damaged. External threat detected. Threat elimination activated. Initializing combat module. <laughs> Finally, no more racking our brains. You must be honored to meet me. Rules are made to be broken. Who's next? now let me try and reset its system certification system online please extend your right hand oh, why is it always me ah, how come it hurt even more than the other two oh, at least that's the final step we can get in now right <laughs> Barog certification system is no match for us Better work. Let's get back to the gate and give it a go. Open Sesame! See, not so bad having Sampo on the team after all, huh? Right? Chief Oleg knew all along that I... Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. I'll commend you to the Chief. No need to waste your time. All right. Well, let me issue a warning now. Everything from here on out is uncharted territory. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Now to set the record straight with Sparog. Let's get in there. Ooh, did anyone hear what I just said?
<laughs> a gate? Oh, why is there another gate here? It looks like this gate has a more complicated structure than the last one. Sampo, what is this? Uh, huh? Sampo? Oh, where is he? Oh, where did he run off to? He was just here a second ago. Hmm. This isn't the first time. It's that same type of robot again. Oh, please don't tell me there's another round of processing. Visitors for Zvarog detected. Protocol initiating. Scanning. Verifying. Oh, good plan. Treat the robots like guard dogs. How is that going to improve our chances? Certification failure. Subject has yet to obtain access permissions. Request rejected. Visitors must acquire access permissions from Ms. Clara. Clara? Oh, the girl we saw in the Great Mine? We need to get permissions from her? What's she got to do with this? Family. Huh, weird. Don't trouble yourself about it. We need to find her. I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. Where is Clara right now? Obtaining audio data. Please wait. The energy core's bearing component is broken. If we don't repair it soon, the settlement will be pitch black. Timmy, I'm going back to Rivet Town. Maybe I can recover some usable components. You need to guard the gate while I'm gone. Recording recovery complete. Resuming execution of Clara's commands. She went back? We were just there. Sounds like we better head over again. Wait, you guys went sightseeing in another town? Uh, it wasn't as fun as you think. That little girl heading into the Fragmentum all by herself? Ugh, it doesn't bear thinking about. Her strength belies her appearance, but even so... <laughs> you don't look so tough yourself. Well, let's find her. Svarag's not going anywhere. Oh, this is a big town. Where should we start? Claire said she was going to find components, right? Let's start with Nat's storage room. operation.
following Clara around? These can openers all look the same. How can you tell them apart? Shh. It's about to say something. Listen. Initializing self-repair module. Initialization failure. Clara in danger. Must protect. In danger? What do you mean? Workshop. Target must be in. Wait, does it mean that a monster appeared over at the workshop? Clara, she... Not good. She's in danger. Quick, let's head over to the workshop and check it out. I know the way. We have the numerical advantage. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. by yourself. It's too dangerous. What are you looking for here? There is a fault with one of the energy supply units at the base. If I don't repair it soon, everyone at the settlement will be affected. I knew there was a workshop in this town, so I wanted to try my luck here. I found all the components I need, but then I ran into a monster. You guys saved me. I'll tell Mr. Svarag about it. planning on paying him a visit. Uh-huh. What do you need to see him for? I can pass him a message. No. This time, we need to set things straight with him face to face. Can you take us to meet him? But... Mr. Svarov doesn't like talking to others. Especially Wildfire. <laughs> Don't I know it. But he's evaded communication with us for too long. This time, we have to see him. Um... I know you're working hard for the people down here, but Mr. Svarog doesn't trust human emotions. He only trusts his calculation results. So, I can't take you to see him. If Mr. Svarog and you had a fight, someone would get hurt for sure. Maybe even bystanders. 
Listen, kid, you... Uh, Clara, you said it yourself before, right? Svarag's duty is to protect the underworld and preserve the civilization here. We have the same wish. Why would he refuse to cooperate with us? I know Mr. Svara. He isn't affected by other people's wishes. He only follows logical judgments. Terrible things are happening on this world. Mr. Svarok thinks that the overworld will end soon. What? According to his calculation results, the strength of the underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. His plan is to keep the underworlders away from the source of the disaster so they can survive for longer. Isn't that just putting us in a cage? It's ridiculous. What difference does it make if our death gets postponed a couple of days? How is that better than putting up a fight? I'll definitely return the favor, but not like this. Um, if you don't mind, I still have important things to do. I'll go back now. Clara! It's no use, Zila. She's made up her mind. I could tell from her expression. We will have to think of another way. That's no ordinary kid. So young and yet so... stubborn? No. Intelligent? Well, she's incisive and determined. In sharp contrast to you, March. Did you really have to add that last part? It looks like we'll have to get past Clara if we want to speak to Svarok. <sighs> then good luck persuading that mass of metal. Clara mentioned Svarok's calculation results many times. The strength of the Underworlders won't be enough to prevent the disaster. Those were her exact words. For me, that's our starting point. So, you think Svarog's logic has a hole in it? No. His calculation is correct. At its current strength, it is highly unlikely that Wildfire would be able to resolve the problems stemming from the Stellarod. However, that calculation didn't take the present situation into account. There's a new variable yet to be added to the equation. Hmm, <clears throat> precisely. If we can make Svarag believe in us, we can almost certainly overturn the result of his calculation, and we'll be one step closer to peace talks. But how can we get him to do that? <laughs> Showing him some of our photos wouldn't cut it, right? There's always a way. But first, we have to convince Clara. Hmm. I assume she must be on her way back to the robot settlement. Let's catch up with her. Keep looking. Honored to me. 
baby. Naughty child. No. Let's make it quick. Medicine. Hmm. Why won't it? Ah. Oh, I can't figure it out. Oh, it's you. You came with me after all. You keep saying that, but. Are you repairing this installation, Clara? Hit a snack? The dimensions and wear of these two roller components look very different from the rest of the unit. You must have only just replaced them. You replaced the damaged components, but the unit isn't starting up as normal. That's what you're trying to figure out, right? Yeah, I fixed a lot of things before, but I never had to repair one as complicated as this. Why isn't Svarog helping you? I don't want to disturb him. This insulation was accidentally damaged by two of the vagrants. If Mr. Svarog finds out, they'll get in big trouble. You know, Clara, if you're too kind, people can take advantage of you. Ah. I think I found the source of the problem. You replaced the rollers. But the bearing is causing a jam, and there's a misalignment. You two, give me a hand. We should be able to fix it between us. More fixing? I'm getting good at this! Can we really fix this? Relax, we got this! Right, Don Hung? Less asking. More helping. We hardly lifted a finger. So, the settlement's energy supply problem is solved for the time being? Yes. The people on the outskirts don't need to worry about heat or light now. Um... I understand. 
You helped a lot of injured people in the mine, and you risked going into the town for supplies. You're good people. If there's any other way I can help you, I'll do my best. But this... Uh, how are we gonna convince her? is uh we're here this planet isn't doomed after all clara you're observant right take a look at us do we look like underworlders well uh you do look very different from other people right that's because we're not from here we've never been a factor in sparog's calculations and if those calculations are based solely on the strength of the Underworlders, then the results don't apply to the present situation. When did Svarog start doing his calculations, Clara? It was... a long time ago. The same time the Underworld was sealed off, I think. Circumstances have changed since then. There's a Silvermane Guard down here now. Is that part of Svarog's calculation? Not to mention we're... There's just no way that Svarog's calculations would have included variables like us, you know? Different planet? Don't treat me like a child. Those are just made-up stories that grown-ups like to tell. I don't... Aren't lying, Clara. I believe them. Branya, do you really? I know how you feel, Clara. You want new hope for the underground, but you don't want anyone to get hurt in the process, right? I also have doubts, but my gut tells me that March, Dan, Hung, and she, they are the new hope this world has been waiting for. Let them meet Svarag, and let's see if his calculation result is any different for you, for him. There's no harm in trying, right? Hmm. I... <sighs> okay, I'll take you to see Mr. Svarag. Understand now. Trying to change Mr. Svarog's mind on my own would take forever. Even if I kept trying until I was all grown up, I don't think I could do it. And all the while, people would be getting sick, losing their homes, and fighting. Just like in the mine. I don't want that to happen. If you guys really believe that you can convince Mr. Svarog, then. I need to be brave too. Everyone, follow me. Branya, I didn't know you'd stick up for us like that back there. Well said. It was nothing, I just said what I truly felt. Restriction terminal unlocked. Welcome back, Miss Clara and guests. Oh, 
If you can, please try not to upset Mr. Svarov. It's okay, Clara. We're here to reason with him. I'll leave negotiations to you guys. They're not my strong point. Negotiating with robots. I can't say I've tried it before. Are you ready? I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Svarog, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Oh, uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. An inadequate pretext. You are not from the underground. You have no right to represent underworld humanity. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. You are approaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron. But it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already! Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception. These efforts have been motivated by human greed. Attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target threat index critical. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. There is no evidence to suggest you are an exception. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. E extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March, prepare for combat. Mr. Sparrow, please don't. Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. <sighs> Looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three. Monitoring Automaton Svara. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. Don't get careless. Rules are made to be broken. Do you know who I am? Ever see a diamond 
this big? Get careless. Don't get careless. Nap time. Let's go. Batter up. Put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield. All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Nat, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high-risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. to be stronger let's make it quick do you know who i am <laughs> ever see a diamond this big it's all yours let's go rules are made to be broken Naughty children, don't favor the vigorous. Push forward. Analysis complete. High risk individual. Analysis 
Mission's complete. <laughs> Annihilate all individuals. <laughs> Time for a shot. <laughs> Perhaps you just take it. <laughs> just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Calculating result. the vigor of
came back, Mr. Sparhawk. I see that the energy supply system is back online. Thank you, Clara. But why have you brought them? Mr. Sparhawk, they want to talk to you about going to the surface. Analyzing. Analysis result. Target does not belong to wildfire. Background unknown. Classification unknown. You have arrived on Clara's recommendation. I will give you an opportunity to speak. Oh, uh, hey, sounds like he's willing to communicate. Quick, time to smooth talk him. Smooth talk. <laughs> An inadequate pretext. You are not from the underground. You have no right to represent underworld humanity. Proceed with your central point. Do not waste this world's valuable time. Uh, he cut you off completely. This guy. Stay focused. Remember, we have to make him see that we're a variable in the calculation. Stellaron. Searching database. Access denied. Discussing Stellaron with unauthorized targets. Prohibited. You are broaching a secret that lies at the heart of this world. A secret that should remain unknown to humanity. Reassessing targets. Threat index raised. I demand that you reveal your true intention. Mm, as expected. He knows of the Stellaron. But it's a restricted topic. We've come this far. Out with it already! Just be straight with him. Everything depends on it. Historical records state that humanity has already made multiple efforts to engage with the Stellaron. Without exception. These efforts have been motivated by human greed. Attempts to secure the article for a selfish end. As instructed by the architects, any attempt to engage with the Stellaron will result in grave consequences. Reassessing. Target threat index critical. Uh, what should we do? This is going from bad to worse. There is no evidence to suggest you are an exception. Calculation result remains unchanged. Peacekeeping protocol temporarily disengaged. Requesting extermination protocol launch. An extermination? In the literal sense? Peace talks are over. March, prepare for combat. Mr. Sparrow. Leave, Clara. Clara, it's dangerous here. Find somewhere to hide. Clara, looks like we have to take action after all. Prototype number three. Monitoring Automaton Svarov. Extermination protocol launch. Successful. Annihilation permitted. Executing operation. Can here supposed to be stronger?
can you put up your best fight without a doctor on the battlefield? All of you, stay focused. I'm right behind you. Nat, uh, how did you... Guess you guys had a bad talk, huh? Luckily, Sampo's got your back. Sampo! <laughs> I knew you'd be involved somehow. Base breached. Armed wildfire personnel detected. Assessing. All subjects are high-risk individuals. Commencing complete annihilation. Rules are made to be broken. Let's make it quick. Push forward. The machine's threshold. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Evaluating variables. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Analysis complete. 
Mr. Sparag. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision! Shot. Here comes the medicine. You're a good person. Better up. Executing operation. <laughs> Executing operation. Clemency never hurt. Naughty children. You're in bad shape. up your best fight without a Rules are made to be broken. Defeat this sanctuary. It's but a vision! Right. <laughs> 
much better. Revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision! Module overload. Naughty children, don't let them favor the vigor of <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Clemency? Never heard of it. This is our chance. Better up! Outside the cage isn't beautiful. People still want to know what it's like. Assessment system reset. Successful. Processing variables. Variable one. Clara's request. Variable two. Outsider's intentions. Updated assessment result. Transference of decision-making authority to outsiders. Outsiders are granted access to Stellaron intelligence. So... so we did it? Yeah, without her, even if we defeated 
Thanks, Farag. There's no way he'd have given us access to the intel, right? I hope his memory bank really does contain data on the Stellaron. Is this it, Nat? Us? Wildfire? The Underworld? Did... Did we win? No, Zila. Our battle. Their battle. It's just beginning. Finally. We finally made it to this point. Uh, what's up? Nervous? No. But... I do have an aching feeling in my chest. I'm ready. Reveal the truth. I'm listening. Materials cache, serial number 13175, encryption level highest. Request approved. Transmission. This is the fruit of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so called Stellaron is the source of all the destruction. The people will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the almighty Elisa Rand activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze... It's the truth, Madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabonk's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I have never doubted you, Doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless? Unless what? Please, proceed, madam. Unless you have found a way to completely destroy the Stellaron. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number... Two, four, eight, three, zero. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. You're, you're still young, child. There will come a day... A day when you do understand. This Supreme Guardian, she, she sees further than you or I. All her decisions are not for the security of Malabarg. I just think it's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, 
Your results will be buried in the snow. <laughs> don't, don't be upset, child. You, you still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy, <laughs> destroy the Stellaron, our efforts will have been worth it. Cache number 24830. Transmission complete. Next transmission. Cache number 57614. This is... Why is there a robot here? During his life, this was Dr. Mearsheimer's personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions. All of them. Madam Guardian, I've found them. All the documents are here. Mm. Good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Uh, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system, and then arrange for it to be sent to the Underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, doctor. But these results must be taken care of by the architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614. Transmission complete. Concluding data transmission. So, the truth is clear now, right? <sighs> And it would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Kokolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Branya? Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just... feel a little faint. Maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she... I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. <sighs> hey, can I have a word with you? I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide on our next plan as soon as possible. Furnace core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. <laughs> Thank you. What you've done has brought new hope to the underworld. Now we have to wait and see. But maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Well, you should really be thanking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? W what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helps me deal with all manner of problems in the Underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Svarog. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan. <laughs> and for that, you have my utmost thanks. <laughs> when the Underworld recovers its freedom, the people will indeed extol you as heroes. However, 
Even though Svarog is no longer sealing off the furnace core, there's no way that we undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the underground. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. No, but we need to wait for the opportune moment. In the meantime, I'm sending someone I trust to go with you. Zila! Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Zila is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you. Not to mention, you also have Branya now. You're right. But with Zila by her side, I know she'll recover. Hey, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Sparog since Rivet Town. Health is everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yours. Let Wildfire take care of the Furnace Core for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps tomorrow you can return to the Overworld. Equilibrium. The universe should be in equilibrium. The arbiters of the equilibrium are giving you a trial. For the equilibrium of all worlds, you must demonstrate your strength. The strong will be given greater opportunities. The weak a chance to breathe. Passing the trial will prove that your strength has shaken the scales of power. Worlds will change, and thus, equilibrium. You will encounter stronger enemies, harder puzzles, and greater rewards. After equilibrium, you will go on to face yet more trials.
equilibrium. It is for this that all... done with that whole situation in the underworld, we can finally look for the Stellaron. <sighs> but thinking about it, I feel a bit bad about Clara. We promised her that our talks with Sparog would go peacefully. You tried your best. Don't blame yourself. I should have considered such a situation in advance. And it was Svarog who attacked first. We didn't have any other choice. Uh, I didn't mean for you guys to start beating yourselves up over it. Look on the bright side. Things turned out all right, didn't they? Now everyone knows that the real problem here is the Stellaron, and they're willing to help us out. All in all, the mission is going super smoothly. But we still have a lot left to figure out. For instance... Exactly. We don't even have the Stellaron's coordinates and location. Kokolia's sudden change in attitude is also very curious. We still haven't put all of the pieces together. Dreams? You mentioned something about strange dreams before. Mm. All three dreams were the same, with Kokolia and that other voice. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random, if there's some meaning behind them. Maybe you have them because... Because of the Stellaron inside her? That's my hunch, but I have no proof. <sighs> well, then that's as good as nothing for now. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? After all this talk, we're still back at square one. We solve a puzzle one piece at a time. Let's get some rest. We'll talk to Wildfire tomorrow and get to the bottom of this. Also, there's still one more key character we haven't talked to yet. Her connection to Kokolia may be the key to cracking this mystery. Wildfire that you helped resolve that whole situation with Svarog. Amazing. It must have been exhausting. Please have some food and get a good night's rest.
over there. See that? That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town, and it's also where I grew up. My friends and I used to wander those streets, thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief Oleg got me out and took me to the orphanage. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. At the age of 10, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg, occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. <laughs> that sounds nice. Nice? Are you being sarcastic with me? Oh, no, sorry. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. Uh, you're always so serious. It really gets on people's nerves sometimes, you know? Uh, right. Uh, what I meant was... Uh, I kind of envy you, Zila. For as long as I can remember, my days have been an endless cycle of studying, etiquette lessons, and training. Every day, all I hear is, Remember who you are, Bronya. This is against the Architect's admonishments, Bronya. Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Bronya. <laughs> Some may envy this kind of life, but I have felt trapped. When every choice and every goal has already been made for you. <laughs> you probably can't imagine how that feels. No, I can't. But more importantly, what kind of foul language were you using? <sighs> In the name of the architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you go back. <laughs> no. No, that won't be necessary. <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart-to-heart -heart with the future Guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I only heard stories from the grown-ups and figured you were all just a bunch of gold snobs. I've heard from some Silvermane veterans that before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Even though times are different now, Things like the joys and sorrows of life, the ties between people. These precious things must certainly still connect us all. If there is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds, we can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. When we could stand side by side against the eternal freeze and the fragmentum. <laughs> I'm not like you. I don't have that many grand plans for the future, but if that's the future you want, I'm willing to build this bridge with you. Thank you, Zila. Your trust is very important to me. Speaking of which, um, what are you going to do next? What Svarog revealed must have made quite an impact, huh? Yes. I thought I was prepared for anything. As long as I am the Guardian's successor, those truths will come out sooner or later. But why does my mother hide it from me, and why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? It just... it doesn't make sense. I thought it over. There's only one thing I can do. Go ask her directly. You... Hold on. You're not really going, are you? A alone? You can't. This plan is... I've already thought it through, Zila. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. That will never change. Be it my duties as her heir or as a Silvermane guard, I must face my problems head on. Even if... Branya. This is for you, Zila. 
please help me pass it on to the outsiders. If, if I am unable to see you again, they'll know what to do. Okay, I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change it. But remember this, if you run into trouble, I will come to save you, no matter what. Then I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> so, did you come to this spot when you were a child? Of course. I just didn't appreciate how nice it was at the time. <sighs> Very nice. a good sleep. I should go meet up with March and Denon. Right. We'll stop that there for today. Stay squishy, stay fresh, and I'll see you guys next time.